Hi guys, welcome back for another video. I'm Jess and I'm one of the creative designers here at Sizzix. Today I am super excited to share with you our brand new March craft box, which is our springtime craft box. I'm so excited to share with you all the goodies in it, but please leave a comment down below if you guys get your hands on it. I can't wait to share it with you. I can't wait to see you guys get it and we'll jump right into the video. So with this springtime craft box, obviously if you know by now with these craft boxes, they all come in these amazing cardboard boxes with all of that gorgeous illustration on side, or on the outside, sorry, and then on the inside you have the same thing but it's with that mint. Um, so they're really, really pretty, amazing to store all your crafty bits in. And with this being a springtime craft box, obviously as the name suggests, it has lots of goodies for spring and Easter makes. Um, I also wanted to remind you guys that March is actually um, craft month. So I think this is a fantastic opportunity to get your hands on one of these boxes and try something new. Maybe you haven't tried one before or you've already got a massive collection and you want to add to it. Um, craft month is definitely an opportunity to do some crafting and try something new. And if you need any more inspiration, then definitely check out any of our other videos um, over on any of our social channels, whether that is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. Okay. So let's get into the box because that's what you're here for, right? <laughs> so let's start with the dies first. So obviously with it being springtime Easter themed, we've got this one here. This one is spring has sprung. I really hope you can see that. So this one has some really gorgeous um, Easter themed bits. So we've got like our Easter eggs, we've got a bunny, um, a little duck or a goose maybe. Um, and there's loads of things like a little chick and and these are really nice layered pieces and I'm going to show you some makes with these ones um, as we go through because obviously this is one of the main dies. This is a chapter one 2022 brand new die so if you haven't got your hands on that one from that release then it's definitely worth checking out in the box. And then we've got this one, which is lace labels. This one is really, really pretty and it's great for backgrounds. Um, and this one has several different circles that you can cut and then you can lay it on top of them. Um, you can add those different elements from the spring has sprung dye on top of them. And it's a really nice intricate floral design with that section in the middle. So if I just take one of them off. So you've obviously got all of that space there that is in the center to work with. And then you've got that amazing pattern on the outside. So those ones are really, really pretty. I love those two dies. They work really, really nicely together. And then with the spring has sprung die. So like I was showing you before, you have that uh, Easter egg or egg shape. It works perfectly with our egg domes. So that is why we've included our egg domes in there because they work perfectly with that die and it slots really nicely inside. And I'm not sure, you get six in there. So um, you've got loads to keep making your Easter cards or your Easter decorations um, and you're not going to run out anytime soon and they're really really fun to kind of add a little bit of excitement and 3D element to your crafting in your cards. Obviously we can't have a shaker dome without sequins <laughs> so we've got our sequins and beads in mint julep. I love these they're such a gorgeous tone obviously they match that sort of background of those physics boxes. Mint julep is kind of our colour that you'll see a lot of in our branding and I love the way that these um, these sequins and beads are stacked and stored because you can just pop them all inside the stack. I haven't actually opened this one. I'm going to open it so I can show you some inside because you get five different kinds of sequins and beads in here all within that mint julep colour family and then they all stack inside so literally just take them out and then oh, you can just twist off your top. If you're stronger than me, then you'd have no problem doing that. <laughs> They're all individually sealed, that's why. <laughs> that's why I can't take them off. So you can use these for loads of different things, for adding little accents around all of your cards. Um, they're really nice for flower centers, I find, if you don't want to die, cut little circles. Some of these sequins and beads are really nice for those kind of things, and obviously inside of your egg dome as well. So there's several different kinds in there. We've got hearts, stars, uh, faceted ones, beads, pretty much everything that you need sequin and bead-wise. We've got you covered there. Then we've also got some of our 
um, envelopes and card bases. So a card and envelopes, again, in that mint julep tone, it is in the packaging, which you probably can't see very well. So I'm gonna take that out of the packaging for you. And just so you can see, the color is gorgeous on these. I love these. They're A6 cards, really nice, sturdy card bases. And then you obviously get your envelopes to go with it. So you get 10 of each. So 10 envelopes and 10 cards, and they all match perfectly and you can use these as your obviously as your card bases and you can build up everything on top of those so that's a really nice thing to have and obviously all matches within that color story then we've got some of our adhesive sheets i cannot live with my my adhesive sheets i am constantly running out of these they are a godsend for um any intricate dies so you just pop these on the back of your cardstock and then run it through your machine and die cut it and then it means that you're not faffing around with putting tiny little bits of glue on tiny little die cuts or anything like that it's already got that sticky back on there and it just saves so much mess and time i love 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 these and they're are an essential I think for if you're a experienced crafter or if you're just starting out they will save you so much time and hassle so they're fantastic to have in that box um, and then moving on to the cardstock okay so we like to put in a few sheets of our sort of core textured cardstock so I believe there's 10 sheets here I'm gonna fan them out so you can see the color tones a little bit better and I'm gonna do a terrible job of trying to fan these out for you <laughs> Pete always seems to do it so smoothly and it takes me a good while to get them all fanned out. <laughs> okay, so we've got all of those gorgeous colors, perfect for Easter and springtime. Really nice, bright tones, any pastel shades. So I'll just run you through the colors. So we've got Sorbet, that mint julep that we've had in those, um, those cards and envelopes. Uh, Cherry Blossom, I believe that one is. Oh, you probably can't see these. I'm doing a terrible job. I'm gonna get rid of those, so there you go. Then underneath we've got Lemoncello, that really nice bright yellow color. Lush Leaves, which is that rich green. Obviously perfect for foliage. Mango Tango, amazing for if you're making up any of those little chicks. Bluebell, Arctic Sky, a really nice base color, that one. Works amazingly with mint julep. Lavender Dust and Hibiscus, okay? So there's an amazing range of colored cardstock there and it's got that gorgeous linen texture on the front that um, everybody loves with our cardstock. Then we've also got some of our silver opulent cardstock. So there's 10 sheets in here of our silver opulent. I'm just getting rid of the packaging so you guys don't get a reflection, but you get 10 sheets and there's five different kind of textures or finishes of this cardstock. So you get two sheets of each finish um, and it's all of the silver. So we've got glitter, matte, uh, brush metal, mirror and pearl on that silver tone. And they're just amazing for adding a little bit of extra opulence and sparkle to your makes. And then I'm not gonna take this one out of the pack because it is what it says on the tin but it five sheets of plain white cardstock as well which is amazing for just having a plain white background for anything or particularly if you want to cut the bunny from white as well it's really really useful for this one okay so that is everything in that box that you get I'm going to show you a couple of makes, but just wanted to highlight that it is available on the Sizzix website at the moment. So definitely head on over and get your hands on it, guys. I feel like this one is going to go really quickly because of how well everything works together. It's so cohesive in this box and it's so, so easy to create projects without any sort of hassle or anything like that. Everything just kind of meshes together really, really nicely. So I just wanted to show you a couple of projects. So here we've got the egg dome in all its glory with those amazing sequins and beads um, and hopefully you can see how the spring has sprung die how you can layer them up and you can have the different colors peeking through underneath and then we've even got some of the foliage sculpted there um, and you could fill this dome with as many sequins and beads as you want you could even put a picture in there or something you could even pop one of the little animals like the chick in there 
there's so many different things you could do with these guys and then obviously I've got the sentiment up there as well and it's all on that mint julep card base um what else have we got another one for the um, egg shape but not using the dome so this is actually cut in with an aperture and then I've created like a little scene inside of there so we've got our little bunny inside of the egg without the dome just as a flat aperture and um, some flowers at the bottom and then I've used some of that silver opulent cardstock up here at the top to just add a little bit of um of shine and shimmer up there then I've got one of the ones using that lace label. So I was talking about having it as a background and then working on top of it, okay? So as you can see, I'm just gonna hold that there. You've got that lace decorative element in the white and then I've actually cut a circle to go over the top of it with the silver card stock. And then we've got some of the little butterflies on there and then I've even decorated the edge with some of the sequins, which I love, love to do. Um, it just adds a little bit of sparkle and just fills out any of the gaps around a card or make that you feel just need a little extra something. And you could just go and just dabble a couple of sequins there and it just completely finishes it off so I love that and then last but not least I've got one more card and um, I believe Josh is one of the people who made this one this one's really really nice how we've got those foliage pieces used as um, a kind of patterned section there and then we've got our sentiment with our little bunny and we've even used white for the foliage and not green it's created a really nice effect and using a landscape card instead of a portrait just gives a really nice different effect again these are all on that um those a6 cards and envelopes with this one i literally just trimmed it down to make it a square but it would still fit in that envelope so it really doesn't matter if you decide to trim it down or not um it'll still fit in those envelopes so i think this one is an amazing box guys you get so much in there um and it's just perfect for easter and springtime crafting so if you do get your hands on that box please leave me a comment and maybe even an image down below of anything that you guys want to make with this box or that you're making for easter or springtime i'd love to see it i'd love to us all to share our inspiration and our makes with each other and if you're sharing them across any of our social channels then use that hashtag my making story and then that way we can see all of them and get inspired ready for spring um so yeah it's available on the website now it is the springtime march box and hopefully it gets you inspired to craft for the month of march which is craft month as well so perfect excuse to get your hands on one of these and treat yourself this march so that's everything from me today guys thank you so much for joining me i really hope you enjoyed it i can't wait to see all of your inspiring makes using this box um and yeah i'll see you in the next one but until then stay safe and keep crafting thanks bye